Lisa Hochstein is not holding back. While her Miami castmates think Lenny is whack. Virtual reality. Hi, I'm Danny. I'm Evan. And we are still at a high from our sold out live show last week. So you need to go check that out on YouTube immediately if you missed it or want to relive it. Oh my God, yeah, we had the best time. But Danny, you had the best time with Elisa Hochstein live in studio. And it was a great time to chat with her because there is so much drama going down with Lisa on the show in real life. And y'all got into all of it. Uh, yeah, Lisa was in the studio and she talked so much. I mean, she is stronger than me. I would I would have crumbled months ago through all this, but I'm more excited because we're gonna you're gonna hear the full interview with her at the end of this. But Evan, you have to walk me through. You talked to like all the Miami ladies, and this new season is so good. What is the drama that we are living for? Uh, there, there's a lot of drama. Of course, a lot of the drama pertains to Lisa and that crazy hot mic moment. Can I where Lenny was caught talking about if I cheated or I'm not hooking up with Lisa because that means I would be cheating on the person I really care about, aka his mistress, Katerina. Lenny claims that there was no crossover, but I think the hot mic moment suggests otherwise. But her castmates, of course, are supporting her throughout it all. And they had some very sweet things to say about Lisa and some very not so sweet things to say about Lenny. Gertie even called him cowardly. Wow, how low is low? And how, like, it's just, it's cowardly. What Gertie said is like, look, Lisa can take it. Like, it might suck, but just like tell her face to face, not telling Vito or Vinny or her, whatever his name was over, I don't know, pizza in the kitchen with Logan sitting right in front of you. Like, that's... That's rude. I do have to say, Lisa said Vito is her friend and a really good friend. So shout out to him. Okay. But I was a little shocked at that. And I'm also like, do I see sparks with her and Vito? Who knows? I can imagine bad sparks might be flying between her and Adriana. I would assume because I saw a clip of your chat with her and it did make my jaw drop a little bit. In Lisa's position, it's not easy to be traded in for a new model, a newer model, and then to go out and then see your still husband with somebody else. I do love Adriana and she's so, I mean, we see her ways of words being a little on the funnier side when she even just said to Larsa, like, I think I want to get a BBL. Do I have your blessing? She is, honestly, Adriana is so hysterical and I feel like she doesn't get enough credit. We all need to remember that she is the singer of the Miami theme song. She deserves to hold a mojito and I I just love Adriana so much. And even when she's saying kind of like subtly shady stuff about Lisa. Yeah, well, I mean, Larsa and Lisa had some shade back and forth like in these past few episodes. I mean, they're clearly friends now, but the moment when it's like, um, do people compliment your teeth? Oh my God. Well, do you know what's really funny is I talked to Nicole about Larsa and obviously Nicole and Larsa aren't like biffles whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And Nicole, you know, she, it made a lot of sense. She said that Larsa's fighting style is pretty vicious. It's like, you know, you bring a pencil, she brings a machete and it's just, it's so effortless for Larsa to like annihilate you with her words. Like she'll just like make one comment and it's so casual and you're like, wait, you just like slaughtered me. But like, you looked really pretty while doing it, and it seemed to not take and a lot. And you had a dog collar. The Miami ladies, Gertie and Alexia specifically, they said some very interesting things about this whole Lisa situation that watching her split with Lenny play out made them re-examine their own marriages. And so Alexia said that she was like, oh my God, well, like, do I need to like look for clues? Do I need to look for red flags? And Gertie had like some really tough conversations with her husband this season because she was like, well, if they, if they were going through it, like maybe we should kind of like look at the problems in our marriage. So this whole like Lisa Lenny situation like really impacted the cast from every angle. <laughs> okay. And I hope for Alexia's sake, like she already found a pride flag and she handled that well. I hope she does not find a red flag after that because baby girl's been through <laughs> been through enough and i do like her i do like her newly married life right now too <laughs> oh my god yeah no i she and todd are good she assured me that she and todd are good <laughs> and what's also good is that lisa is good with all of the ladies she kind of when she was in the studio she said that they have been really supportive of her and very very helpful and she also said a lot of the viewers have been dming her and being very very supportive too 
So she appreciates that. The first thing I, I had to hug her. I was like, I, I just need to hug you. I just want her to feel love. And she deserves some hugs because she doesn't hold back. I think I speak for every Peacock viewer. I think everybody wants to just give you a hug. Okay. Give me a hug. <laughs> yes, okay. I'm like, giving you a hug. Okay. This is from everybody. Okay, because honestly, watching just how, I mean, not only on the show because we've only seen like four episodes so far, yeah. but just seeing how you've been handling everything on like your social and yeah. in real life, it is very commendable Thank because you. I could only imagine if that was happening to me, I would just be crumbled. Um, it's for sure way more difficult to, to do this publicly yeah. and most people get to do it privately and that's that's already hard enough. Yeah. Um, and then just to be blindsided and have all of this happen while filming is just mind blowing. And it almost seems to me that Lenny almost wanted it to be more publicly than it had to be. Because the hot mic, like, what was your take? Because, of course, you talked about it on Watch What Happens Live and you saw it, yeah. everything. Did you really think he didn't know it was getting picked up? I really don't think he knew. Okay. I don't think he would want to put that out there. Mm-hmm. And he did say he was thinking in a couple months and that would have been the end of filming. Wow. So I think he was planning to, to do this at the end of filming. Okay. So... Yeah, I, I really don't believe he would have put that out there okay. on purpose, for sure. That makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. And I am glad, speaking of uh, the past four episodes, it seems like you and the ladies, they do they like kind of give you a lot of camaraderie and support through? The ladies are amazing. They've all been so supportive of me. Um, thank God I have such a great support system, like with the cast and also my my friends out, outside, in my, real, in, my other, in, in my real life. Yeah. Well, because that's what I mean. For the first few episodes, I was like, yeah. "No, Lisa and Larsa are fighting." I was like, "No, I don't want them no, to fight." It was, it's, yeah, yeah. It's a, that was a petty, s- silly fight. Mm-hmm. And when I look back at it, it's I'm almost embarrassed. Like, in hindsight, look what I'm dealing with now com- in comparison to that. Like, um, you know, but we got over the over that real quick. And bygones are bygones. And she's been so supportive since. Does it make you reframe situations differently in relationships and friendships? Like, are you kind of just like, oh, I don't care about that at all? Oh, yeah. All of the fights that the girls had amongst each other, Mm -hmm. I really wasn't involved. I had almost no idea what was going on because I was so involved in my personal life and dealing with divorce and transition and focusing on my kids, making sure they were okay. Um, So I really wasn't a part of so much of all of I don't really know what happened. Like, I'm finding out as I watch. <laughs> You're like, oh, people were fighting. Yeah. Yeah, I was just, like, in such a dark place, you know? And that's the hardest, because you can't even... It almost... Do you feel the show almost helped you because you couldn't just crawl up into a ball? Or do you think, I would have liked a few months to crawl into a ball? Well, I did. Whenever I wasn't filming, I was in a ball. <laughs> and, um, you know, I signed up for this. It's my job. I had to. I had to show up, and... I tried to do the best I could. Um, I definitely didn't stay for like, you know, the entire uh, whatever event it was. It was hard for me to be present. My mind was elsewhere. Like I, you know, don't want to be a Debbie Downer also and give off like bad energy when I feel a certain way. Like, and I'm off. I like to just stay home. Good vibes party. Yeah. Like (laughs) I want to be home. I don't want to, you know, people to see me in that state. So that was difficult just to show up and support my friends because they had a lot going on and I wanted to be there for them and also, you know, do my job and show up and be be a good friend. So it was difficult. For and sure. that's why I'm glad you're here because a lot, I feel a lot of things in the court documents that are getting leaked and published are a lot of Lenny saying a lot of things. And of course, the viewers and all of us are sort of like, where is the truth in this? Like that you, like the Halloween party that he threw, he said that you brought two men that you were seeing. There, There is no truth to that whatsoever. And honestly, even if I was dating, that's my own private business. Mm-hmm. Like, why would somebody that left me for someone else even comment on something like that? After months later, when he's fully in a relationship, I just, it's untrue. Um, and I don't know, it's just untrue. Answering so many claims that I appreciate you yeah. helping to. Another one that I just want some clarity on too is mm-hmm. that documents said that you confessed to making an Instagram troll account to kind of throw hate at uh, one of a uh, girlfriend of Lenny's. Is that any, because when I... It just seems like this person is a sore loser. Mm-hmm. Um, the judge, you know, 
the judge th threw this out. The judge dismissed this, mm -hmm. and um, this judge is very credible. Yeah. I've just never seen so much involvement from the third party in someone's divorce. Like I feel like I'm divorcing two people, and it sucks. And I'm just trying to do the best I can, and it's just a lot of noise. Have you been able to date at all? Because um, we saw some photos with the cute guy, Jody. Uh, oh, he's he's my friend. Oh, so he's my friend. Um, I'm not and like dating anyone seriously at all like you know if, of course i have friends i meet people i'm you know i'm not dead <laughs> like it's been seven months but uh you know there's there's no there's no like serious relationship on the horizon i'm i'm just trying to like live my life and have fun i like that yeah. are, are you kind of when you get to that point are you thinking of like looking for anyone different of kind of like a of, do you have like a ideal guy in mind or is right now your your idea just peace and quiet my idea is peace and quiet like i that. really just want to focus on getting through this making sure my kids are okay that's my number one priority um you know if somebody comes along i feel like i need to heal also i just don't see how someone could deal with all of this noise who would you want from your cast to be like who do you think would be your best wing, wing woman Larsa is pretty much my wing woman now. <laughs> no, but Larsa, all of the girls. Like, yeah. I love Nicole. I love, I love all, all of them. Honestly, I have no issues with any of them, which is a very rare thing in the housewife world mm -hmm. um, because I'm fighting a bigger battle with that other yeah. person. Um, and that's, like, my main battle. So these women are just supportive of me, and they don't want to, like, add to my, my problems or give me any more stress. So If 2023, what are some, like, is there anything, like, you're manifesting or, like, 2023, the year of Lisa's dot, dot, dot. Like, what are you hopeful for? In the I year? am manifesting and hopeful that, you know, I just find happiness again and just can move forward. And maybe one day, like, it's so terrible now, but I maybe one day we could be somewhat friends. Like, that, I don't know. So much has happened, but I really hope that, like, later in life, because we share children together, yeah. that we could be I really appreciate you coming in and <laughs> talking about you. this. It's not easy. And yeah, I hope so you and the kids have a very nice, yeah. peaceful time and everything like that. Because, And I, again, I'm pretty sure 99.99999% of the people out there are rooting for you.